Hi ladies, um, jumping on tonight to do a workshop on green cleaning your home. So I'm gonna give you guys about a minute to come on. I'm on both Instagram and Facebook, so my eyes are going to be darting back and forth. Um, while I'm waiting for you guys to jump on, I am diffusing tonight one of my favorite blends, which is, I think they call it the Anthropology Blend. It is balance, white fur, and grapefruit. So it's very uplifting. I love the smell, it's a very clean smell. So if you like uh, pine smells, woody smells, you would enjoy that. Um, so I'm just going to go over tonight some ways that you can green clean your home. If you're looking to go more natural in your home, uh, if you come on late on the video, you can always go back and listen to it. It'll be a replay and feel free to share it with anyone that you think might be interested in going toward a more natural lifestyle. So I'm going to start. Um, my name is Amanda Mancini. I am a holistic health coach uh, with both, um, excuse me, uh, nutrition and general health and wellness. I work mostly with women. Uh, I am a personal trainer for over 23 years and I'm a mom of 15 year old twins and I help people with essential oils. So one of my most passionate parts of using the oils is actually with cleaning my home. So if you are currently using bleach, Windex, Tylex, all of those things, comment below if you feel like you've ever been overcome by the smell of those things in your home. I've always known that they weren't healthy. I just never thought that you could replace them and clean as well without those things. But once I started to realize it didn't make sense when I would be nauseous or dizzy while I was cleaning the bathroom, a kind of a light bulb went off one day and I realized I had to start using natural cleaning products. Uh, the negative with that is that they can be very expensive. So if you've ever tried to, uh, you know, transition over and you look at the prices, you're already you don't want to do it because you realize that the cost is going to be much more than what you're doing. So you can clean your home both effectively and safely for pennies if you make them yourself. And with essential oils, if you haven't used them before, it's a great addition to your home because you can use them for so many different things, not just for cleaning, but you can use them for personal use, you can use them for recipes and cooking. Um, so if you're cleaning now and you're using these things, I'm not gonna go through all the things that they can do to you, but just know that if you're using things like bleach and, and Windex and all the other cleaners that you might have in your home, they cause breathing problems, they cause things like asthma, migraine headaches. So if you suffer from headaches and migraines, sometimes it, it might not just be your hormones or it might not be stress. It can be because you're exposing yourself to these uh, poisons every day. And if you have children that have trouble with allergies and breathing and stuffy nose and congestion, it might not just be the allergies and other things that doctors will tell you are causing it. So if you've had any issues with that, um, you might want to consider switching over for that reason. It also causes endocrine disruption, so hormonal problems, um, God forbid cancers, are no, they're linked to these things and we're using them every day when you touch those Clorox wipes, that, those chemicals are going into your hands. Um, and also if you have to, if you think about it, when my kids were babies, I used to lock the cabinets for the cleaning products and now I think back and I say, why did we even have to do that. We didn't. We, we can use these natural products and you don't have to worry if your child gets um, their hands on something. It's not going to hurt them. Baking soda and things like that. Um, so I'm going to go over tonight what things you're going to need to use to get yourself to this green you know, uh, approach in your home and what oils are the best ones to use. So essential oils are great because they have natural cleansing properties and they can, depending on the oil, some of them are better A comment. Okay, I'm back. I hope there wasn't a delay, but I think there was some kind of problem. I'm on Instagram and I'm on Facebook at the same time. So if one freezes, you can go to the other one. I'm not really sure why that's happening, but it is. Okay, so just remember when it comes to essential oils, not all oils, essential oil companies are created equal. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, companies out there that are not very transparent. So if you're using oils where you're not sure of the quality of the products, 
it can actually be harmful. So you're not doing your health any good by using uh, oils that are not true and pure oils. First of all, they're not going to clean your house properly. They're not going to disinfect and kill germs the way you hope they will. And then you can be, again, exposing yourself to things that you, you don't know what's in those chemicals. Oh, okay. All right. So you might want to get a pen and paper out because uh, some of the things you might not remember. But I will have... Uh, these things available on my website that you can print out my green cleaning checklist and the recipes I have it all written down but if you want to just jot anything down any notes or whatever you can do that um, so I love to start basically with the bathroom and the kitchen because and I'm gonna make this as short as I can as quick as I can but the bathroom and the kitchen in my opinion is where you know you're using you're in the, those rooms the most they get dirty the fastest and I am just I, I love a clean bathroom and a clean kitchen. I'm constantly in there. So I love to recycle things, all right? Uh, why throw things out if you don't have to? So I'm just gonna show you what you can do here. Um, well, I'll get to what I do with this. But this is a, a Pellegrino. Oh, sorry, hold on. Something's popping up. This is a Pellegrino bottle. So if you buy the sparkling water, don't throw them out. Or you can use even a wine bottle. Just you buy the spray tops from Amazon or wherever you want, <clears throat> and they fit perfectly on here. So what I do is I recycle them and I use them for cleaning. If you don't want to do that, you can also purchase uh, glass spray bottles, again, on Amazon. So I can uh, share the link with you on my website as well. But these are great, and I just buy a pack of six, and I think they were $16.99 for six of them. Now, remember, you're going to be refilling these things, so you're, you're never going to need to really buy expensive products again. And I use these all the time. So when you're starting with the bathroom and the kitchen, um, I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. I'm going to go through a couple of recipes that I think are just game-changing in your home. So give me one second. Okay. Also, you want to know that a lot of the products you're going to make today, or that I'm going to show you how you can make today, you can use them for multiple things. You can use them all over your house. You don't need a thousand different things. But there are basics that I think work really well. Again, if you, you don't need bleach, uh, those things are toxic. So cleaning your bathroom without bleach might seem like a strange thing at first, but it's really not. It's, it's super simple. So I'm just going to go through first the checklist of what you need. Um, and this is not just essential oils. I would recommend a bucket, a storage bucket that you can kind of take around with you to each room. Uh, if you have somebody cleaning your house for you, that's even better. You give them the bucket. But that way everything is in the bucket and you know that everything they need is in one place. Um, definitely a large scrubber with a handle. I didn't bring it down here, but I have two scrubbers. A large scrubber and a small one uh, for the little crevices, but definitely two. And microfiber cloths or old t-shirts, you can cut them up, whatever you want, but definitely that. And paper towels, I mean, I'm not that green. I do like to have paper towels, but you can buy a natural brand if you want. Um, definitely stainless steel scrubber pads are always good to have on hand. And definitely um, your 16 ounce, this is a 16 ounce glass spray bottle. And you always want to go with amber or blue, the dark color. Don't buy the clear because uh, the essential oils need to have a darker uh, bottle. Okay, I would also recommend for a room spray, which I think I might have brought down here. Hold on. I did. You want to get little bottles for your air freshener. So if you have fragrance like um, Febreze in your bathroom or you have, uh, you know, any of those room sprays, just know those are completely toxic. If you have air fresheners in your plugins, you're literally spraying poison into your house. Um, get rid of it immediately and just buy yourself these little bottles, you can get glass or plastic. I go through these pretty quick, so I don't care if they're plastic, but I leave them all of the house, and these are two ounces. So I'll go through a recipe with that, but you definitely want those. Uh, I would recommend mason jars, you know, save your mason jars, save like old jars that you might have from like sauce or whatever, I'll just show you. I use these uh, old mason jars for carpet refreshers. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things you could come up with, but definitely save those. And then a wide mouth uh, container. So go to the dollar store. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Go to the dollar store and pick yourself up some of these. Use anything with like a wide mouth that you can kind of scoop out with a spoon or something, that would be great. Um, you'll also want to use label maker, a label maker if you like things neat. Now, you can buy label makers anyway. You could just write on a sticker, get stickers and write on that, but you definitely want to label your uh, products so that you don't forget, obviously, what they are. All right, so you're going to need baking soda. I buy a big, the big 
package from Costco, okay? It's huge, just like 13 and a half pounds. You can also order on Amazon. I think the price is pretty comparable. Uh, whatever you can order on Amazon, do it. If you have Prime, why, you know, lug these things back from the store. Uh, white vinegar, witch hazel, uh, hydrogen peroxide. That's going to lighten things. So if you have stain or anything going on that you want to use bleach for, you can use hydrogen peroxide. Uh, rubbing alcohol will take out also stains on a countertop. And then Dr. Bronner's unscented cast aisle soap. So if you don't know what cast aisle soap is, I don't know if you can see it with the light here. Yeah. Okay. Cast aisle soap is a great thing. You can use it for not only personal care products, but you can use it to clean. So I make my body washes with this. I don't spend a lot of money on body washes. Uh, I think it's a waste. I make my own. Uh, they work great. Uh, people ask me for it all the time because it's just it works better than anything else. Uh, that I've ever used and hey Debbie if you guys have questions I meant to say feel free to post them I'll, I think I could see Facebook questions I'm not sure if I could see Instagram but feel free to do that if you have a question for me and if you think of it after you can do that as well um, so this is great you're going to be using cast oil soap a lot it's basically a blend of different oils that's going to clean your house okay and it's great for kids it's great for um, anybody with skin issues and of course for cleaning uh, you also need coarse salt, so just regular iodized salt, just buy the, the cheapest one you can, and uh, that's, that's a good thing to have on hand. Olive oil, and that's pretty much it. You're just going to need essential oils after that, and you don't need to have a lot of essential oils. You can use the, most, the least expensive ones, which would be things like lemon, uh, melaleuca, which is also known as tea tree oil, uh, lime, wild orange, those are all great, lavender. Uh, and we have some other ones I'll mention, but those are, I pretty much clean my house with lemon, melaleuca, and um, wild orange. I love the smell of those, but you can mix and match whatever you like. Okay, so starting with the kitchen, uh, to me that's the place where most of the germs are, okay? If you're still cooking uh, animal products and things like that, you're definitely going to want to have something that's going to kill the germs in the sink when you're cooking food and you're making, you know, cleaning cutting boards and things like that. So... Uh, let me go to my first. The first one I always want to go with, which I have one of these in every room, is my all-purpose uh, cleaner. It's just a spray. It's a disinfectant. It's going to clean any countertop, any surface, um, kitchen table, counters, uh, cabinets, whatever you want. Uh, so this one, and you can write this down if you want, you're going to combine a cup of vinegar, white vinegar, uh, one cup of just purified or distilled, distilled water, and then 15 drops of melaleuca, which is also known as tea tree, oil, tea tree oil, which kills microbes, germs. It's antibacterial, anti everything. Okay, you want melaleuca in your home. Uh, 15 drops of lemon and 10 drops of lavender in this 16 ounce bottle. So again, I'm going to give you all these recipes, but it's uh, 15 drops of melaleuca, 15 drops of lemon, 10 drops of lavender. It smells amazing. It's going to clean everything. You don't have to worry about um, any germs lingering in your kitchen. Okay, so this is one I have in every single room. Make it easy for yourself that you have one in that bucket I, I meant to mention, I wanted to mention earlier, but you have one uh, in the kitchen and in the bathrooms, all the bathrooms, so I don't have to go around the house when I need to clean something. So this is a great one to have on hand. Um, okay, another thing that I find when the kitchen, the sink gets a little dirty and you want, people need like a soft scrub. I used to love soft scrub. But not only would it ruin my clothes, I wear a lot of black, and every time I would use these bleach, you know, these chemicals, I would ruin my clothes, and then your fingers, my hands would be a mess later that day because of the bleach on my hands. So you can make this simple soft scrub recipe, I don't know if you can see it here, but this will last you forever, okay? It also has no, uh, nothing in it that could harm you. You can clean your bathtub, you can clean your kitchen sink, you can clean route, whatever you want, and it's going to lighten everything up. So I'm going to give you the recipe for this. I love this one. And hold on a second. Okay. So again, you want that wide mouth. And you can make, I meant to mention this before, you can make doubles of everything. And that way when you run out, you don't have to worry about needing to run to the store or setting aside a time to make, um, you know, another one. So what I would suggest to you before I go further is set aside a little time where you can make all these things. So I knew I was going to do this live class tonight and want to make sure I had all my products ready for you. So what I did was I, I took Saturday morning and I gave myself a little time to make all of these items. So I went to the dollar store, I got some more of these uh, containers 
and make sure you have right you'll have the checklist so this can take all the guesswork out just get all the products order them on Amazon or wherever you need to get them from and then you have everything in the house and then you just you know have the kids join you it's, it's not an unpleasant thing to do and in an hour you'll have all your cleaning products made and you'll save money you'll keep your family healthier and you'll have these things on hand so this soft scrub recipe here you're gonna get a bowl a big like you know glass or metal bowl whatever I do I do double so a cup and a half of baking soda half a cup of the cast aisle soap which is the one I mentioned to you this is the only brand I like by the way Dr. Bronner's there's other brands, but I haven't, uh, I don't feel like they work the same. Uh, two tablespoons of distilled or purified water. And then you're going to need lemon essential oil and lime essential oil. So it's 16 drops of lemon essential oil and 10 drops of lime essential oil. And you mix them together, all together. And I'm sorry, you're going to mix the, all the ingredients except the essential oils together. And then add the essential oils in. And then... Uh, you, you know, you put it in the container and you're done. So now this is ready. I use it in the sink after dinner. You scrub the whole sink, leave it there for about 10 minutes. So don't wash it right off. If you do in the bathtub, the same thing. Uh, don't wash it right off, leave it there, and then, you know, rinse it and you'll see that it works great. So that's one of my favorites. Um, okay, so another thing for the sink, people uh, will have issue with, not for the sink, for uh, the kitchen is stainless steel. So I have stainless steel appliances in the house and you'll definitely want to keep those nice, you know, and so I used to have separate products for everything. You're not going to need that anymore. So here's your stainless steel recipe. It works great. Uh, it's one of my favorites as well. You fill a spray bottle, the 16 ounce spray bottle with uh, undiluted vinegar. So water, you know, just white vinegar, undiluted and 10 drops of lemon essential oil. And then when you're cleaning it, you follow the grain of the stainless steel. So if it looks like it's going across, you, you're going to go in that direction. It, it's beautiful. It works perfect. You know, again, you can see how I'm using lemon for almost everything. Lemon is probably the best essential oil you'll find for cleaning. It's amazing. It smells great. Um, I did want to mention this. In the kitchen, when you're cooking, uh, you'll probably have a lot of different smells that you're cooking, you know, your dinner, whatever meals you're cooking. Um, I love the, diff the diffuser for this reason because lemon essential oil will get rid of odors in your house. So if you have an issue with odor uh, from broccoli or you're cooking fish or something you really don't like, uh, this is a great thing. I put it on in the kitchen and every day when I cook, I, I always run some kind of citrus oil in the, um, I'm sorry, I think uh, Instagram looks a little blurry. I'm sorry if it is, I don't know why. So that's something to always keep on hand and also it's going to purify the air. Okay, so let's see what else we got going on here. Again, feel free to ask questions at any point. Um, and thank you, Sheree. I see you giving me a shout out. I appreciate it. Um, okay, so we got all purpose cleaning spray. You got your soft scrub and your stainless steel cleaner. As far as cleaning the um, wood, in your, if you have wood cabinets or any wood in your house, very, very simple. I have a wood uh, spray here. Let me find it. No, that's not it. Okay. Here's my furniture polish, all right? And again, you can use it for cabinets, and you can use it on any wood furniture in your house. I love this one as well. I love them all, obviously. I keep saying that. So let me give you that one. Okay. You're going to combine one cup of olive oil uh, and 15 drops of wild orange. Wild orange is great for cleaning um, wood and leather, actually. And then you're going to add one cup of white vinegar. So again, it's a cup of olive oil, 15 drops of wild orange, and a cup of white vinegar. And there's other essential oils that are great for uh, wood as well. I'll name them in the um, printout that I post on my website, so you guys can use that as well. So again, you don't need Pledge. Pledge is toxic. If you can't have your children around it, or your pets, or if, the, if you see on the back and it says you're inhaling it, you can get sick you know, from inhaling it. I remember reading the back of like 409, whatever that was, and it says intentionally inhaling it could be fatal. Um, to me, that's a sign maybe you shouldn't have it in your house. Uh, so I would definitely try to transition all these things over as much as you can. At least in the beginning, start with a couple and then build up from there. But these are simple recipes. There's nothing hard about this. Okay, moving over to uh, general window cleaning, mirrors, windows, uh, any kind of glass in your house. You can see I bought a six pack and I just have the same kind of bottles and I just add my label to it and we're good to go. So this one is, is great as well. Uh, one cup of vinegar, one cup of water, 
and 10 drops of lemon essential oil. See how simple? It's almost the same kind of recipes, just in different amounts. And again, one cup of water, one cup of vinegar, and 10 drops of lemon essential oil. You won't have any streaks. You won't have, um, you won't be buying expensive Windex. Uh, again, you can eat this, nothing will happen to you, so that's good to know. And if you have pets, a lot of people have expressed to me that they're worried about um, the essential oils around their pets, but they don't think about the chemicals that you're spraying around your pets. They're extremely sensitive. Essential oils are safe for pets. I don't know where this viral information came out on the internet, but there's a lot of mis, mis uh, information out there. And if anyone would like any information on what oils are you know, good for your pets, I will let you know. If they don't like the smell of an oil, they're just gonna leave the room. Nothing can happen to the pet um, just by having it around them. So don't worry about that. Okay, so let's see what we got next. Uh, okay, we got the stainless steel. Okay, we're gonna move over to the bathroom. So, okay, we got the soft scrub. In the bathroom, this is another one that I think I use the wide mouth cleaner for. Hang on. Okay. So you have your soft scrub recipe for your tub, for your tiles, all of that kind of thing. Of course, you want to have that uh, in both the bathroom and the kitchen because you're going to need it for the sink. But for a toilet bowl cleaner, what I would normally do is I make a container. Same, again, same jars. I just bought a ton of these at the dollar store. And you're going to do a cup of baking soda, 10 drops of Mel Luca, okay? So you're going to, it's powder, okay? And then you're going to leave a, a vinegar in your bathroom. So I always leave vinegar in the bathroom anyway. So what you're going to do is you put, uh, you sprinkle like about a half a cup into the toilet bowl, and then you pour a little vinegar, maybe another half a cup. You let it sit in there, you scrub the toilet bowl, and all the germs are going to be gone, all the stains are going to be gone if you have any, and it's going to look great. And again, nothing in there can harm your family. So that's a simple thing you can do. Um, I think I have a question. Oh, I have a, oh, thank you. Cherie has more bottles. She gave me actually some D, some uh, empty bottles for DIY, so she knows I like that. Those I use for food, though, actually. I meant to tell you that. But these are great if you have anything. If you're about to throw out things, just think about maybe what you can use it for. Okay, so that's a great one for the toilet bowl, so you'll never need that again. And then, usually after the shower, I always like to spray down. Um, I like to spray the shower down so you don't get a lot of mildew. As much as you can dry it when you're finished showering, that would be great. But what you can do is, I do one of those big spray bottles with the Pellegrino. So, these bottles, I leave that in the bathroom. And I do... This one you need a lot of Melaleuca for it, but it's going to prevent mold and mildew. So if you have mold in your bathroom or an issue with mold, you can put 30 drops of Melaleuca and 30 drops of peppermint in a, with distilled water. I just kind of fill it up to maybe about this line here. And I just spray the shower when I'm done. So it's going to disinfect everything in the shower, the, the floor of the shower, and it's going to prevent uh, you know, mold, you know, mildew accumulating throughout the week until you do the, you know, you clean again. So do that and make the kids do it. I just leave it out and make them do it when they get out of the shower. Unless, uh, you know, if you have teenagers, they should be able to do that. Uh, okay, so I'm glad you guys are, I, I see a lot of face of people that I know in here. So that's great. Thank you for watching. I hope it's helpful. Okay, linen spray. So if you're ironing clothes and you, bet, you want your bedding to smell nice at night, you're going to do a linen spray. So I, I like these uh, small bottles for that because you can leave it in the bedroom. You can leave it by the iron down in the basement, wherever you keep your things. Uh, you're going to do, just fill, fill up about, forgive me a second. Oh, you know what? I messed up. For the linen spray, I use this. Okay. Uh, two cups of distilled or purified water. Two tablespoons of rubbing alcohol. And 15 drops of lavender. So that's great for, you know, your linens and for um, if you're going to iron your clothes and things like that. So that's a great thing. And you could also spray it into the air if you want, like, a nice scent in your, ha in your house. Uh, another thing I like to do, the room sprays. I, I was about to give you a recipe for this. These you should leave in every bathroom. Not only is it going to smell nice in there, but it's also going to kill germs. Again, you're using people using the bathroom. It's not the cleanest place in the world. So and there is a... A fact out there that I believe that when you um, flush the toilet, that it actually sprays like 12 feet or something like that. 
If you guys think I look blurry, let me know. I feel like on my phone it looks very blurry, so I apologize. But not on Facebook, just on Instagram. Uh, I'm not really sure why. Okay, so with the room spray, what I do here, and I use these a lot. I use it in my training studio. Um, anywhere you want to leave it by the shoes, you want to leave one in your car, wherever you want to keep them at work, at your office, your desk. If somebody is sick around you and you don't want to be rude, you can make just uh, some lemon and essential lemon essential oil in here. I'll, t I'll give you the dimensions in a second. And leave it on your desk and just spritz around. So when you get that person coming over to your cubicle and talking to you and coughing on you, you can spray it around them after they leave. So it's one and a half. This is a two ounce bottle. I ordered these on Amazon and uh, they're very inexpensive. So I do a, a, an ounce and a half of distilled water or purified water, one tablespoon of witch hazel, and then 10 drops of lavender and 10 drops of wild orange. You can also use lemon. You can use eucalyptus is really nice. Uh, I love spearmint and uh, any of those combinations are great. Some people love peppermint, but you definitely want, uh, that's my ring, sorry. You definitely want um, lemon in there. It's great for cleansing the air. So lemon is one of my favorites again, but any citrus oil will do that. And Melaleuca, of course, will too, but it's, I don't think the smell is as pretty. Okay, so I gave you so far the room spray, the window cleaner, the furniture and wood polish, the all-purpose cleaning spray. So right now you have an arsenal. Let's see what else you got. Stainless steel spray, that'll stay in the kitchen. Your soft scrub recipe will go one in the bathroom and one in your kitchen. Um, toilet bowl cleaner, obviously, in the bathroom. Mold and mildew shower spray stays in the bathroom. Linen spray, I have, again, multiple areas of the house. And the last one I want to mention to you is, again, I use the Pellegrino bottle, a shoe spray. So if you have, most, most people like to take their shoes off before they come in the house, which, you know, hopefully you're doing. But, of course, if you have guests, you don't want to ask them to do that. But... Uh, what I like to do, and I just do this for the people in my house, I don't ask people to do this when they come in my home, but I make a spray bottle of Melaleuca and 10 drops of Melaleuca, I'm sorry, this is a big bottle. So you're going to use, if you want to keep a smaller bottle on hand, you can. So in the small bottle, it'll be this. It'll be 10 drops of Melaleuca and distilled water in a 2 ounce spray bottle. So that's this. So you can just do the same thing and use this as a shoe spray. I just make a very big one. And uh, I put a lot of Maluka in here. If you want the dimensions, I'll have to look it up and let you know I forgot. But I keep this in the closet where the, near the entrance. So when people come in or, you know, I just feel like the kids have been outside and their shoes are dirty. Or I think about all the places I went, I just spray the bottoms of the shoes and let them dry. Okay, you just flip them over and let them dry. Uh, think about the places you go in, public bathrooms, restaurants, uh, you know, schools. It's pretty gross. So you don't want to... You always have to take your shoes off the second you walk in the door, so at least you know you cleaned your feet. Um, okay, the other thing I want to mention is just a couple of products. Now, and not everyone is a DIY person, I understand that, but you're definitely going to save a lot of money, and you're going to be able to clean your house perfectly. You're not going to be sacrificing the cleanliness of your home. Uh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Thank you, Patty and Sue. Um, this is a great blend that I use as well. I wanted to mention to you, it's called Purify. Again, I don't know if it's blurry for you guys, but this is one of our cleansing blends, and it's great because it contains pretty much everything you need in here to clean your house. Lemon, uh, lime, tea tree oil, cilantro, these are all great oils. So if you want just like an overall blend that you can use for everything, this would be a great choice for you. And then there's some people that just don't want to make things. So I use, um, I also use this, I wanted to mention, uh, the company that we work with, doTERRA, it's uh, an essential oil company, if you're not familiar. And they make cleaning products. They make all the different products infused with essential oils. So I do love this, and I still make my own, but I also love to have this on hand because you can do, um, you can make 13 all-purpose cleaners with this bottle. So all you need is just uh, like two capsules to make one of these, okay? So it really lasts a long time. When you have a tough job, you want to clean your floors in your house, uh, toilet bowls, and you don't want to make all this stuff, you just kind of give this a couple of squirts. I meant to tell you a floor cleaner. I forgot to include that. I will actually make a spray bottle of this, and then I, I combine it with water in one of these, and as I do the wet Swiffer in my house, I, use, I wet it with water and I spray the floor with this, and that's how I clean the floors in my house. They come out beautiful. 
Okay, oh, we have a question. What can I use for my yoga mat? That's a great question. Uh, the shoe spray recipe is perfect for that. That's the one with the 10 drops of Metaluca and distilled water in a two ounce spray bottle. Uh, and you can spray a yoga mat with that. You could also use lemon. Lemon and Metaluca together are gonna be like the Cadillac of cleaners. So you can definitely use that. You can also do this if you wanted. Um, another oil we use a lot for cleaning is On Guard. So you can use On Guard in place of any of those as well. Um, Okay, so when you are looking at uh, kind of shifting everything over to a more natural lifestyle, this is a very good place for people to start. Uh, start looking around your house. This is what I can recommend to you because I'm doing this for a while now and uh, the house is completely changed and you can see that everyone's, you just feel better, you feel healthier. Start with one area of your life and then kind of move to the other things that are important to you. So the first one um, I suggest is always with the food, uh, and then the next one usually comes with your, your environment. You, where do you spend the most of your time, and you want to start to make those changes, and this is a big one. Um, oh, hi Patricia. I'm so glad that Anthony suggested that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hope you're finding it helpful. Um, so you definitely want to do that. Another thing I want to mention is things like hand soaps, things that we don't really pay any attention to. The next uh, live I do, I'm going to do... Uh, personal care products, but I didn't want to mention this because this one I was really impressed with. This is the On Guard foaming hand soap. Now, during this win during the winters when people pass a lot of germs. Now, if you're not washing your hands for 20 seconds at least, um, the germs are still lingering on your hands. And not only that, they have chemicals in there. And again, how many times a day do you wash your hands? If you're like me, I'm washing my hands. I so many times a day that I feel like I, I don't know what to do with my skin, you know, that they get so dry. So what I would suggest you do is um, switch over your hand soaps. This one is made with On Guard. It's made with the natural cleansers of essential oils. So it's a great thing to have on hand. And um, I have them in every bathroom. They're great. So what I do is I buy the refillable containers of it and I just keep one in every bathroom. So I love that. Hi, Dina. I see. Why do you use distilled water versus tap water? Um, there's a lot of bacteria in tap water. So that's why, of course, people don't drink it. And when you're using it in your products, you don't want that bacteria to multiply. So distilled water removes that. And uh, you can use pure... I use purified water most of the time. Just the process of distilling, you have to buy distilled water. Uh, it has to say distilled on it. But I purify my water. And I, honestly, I go through my products a lot very fast so I'm not so worried about it but if you have something that's sitting for a long time and it's not um, distilled or it's just tap water that bacteria is going to just keep multiplying and it becomes unhealthy. I did forget to mention one thing carpet refresher I don't know why I didn't have it listed on here I think I have to fix my paper. Uh, this is great if you have carpet in your house now I have carpet upstairs I hate carpet I want to get rid of it but if you have any rugs or carpet in your house they do accumulate a lot of dust and, and dirt and toxins and oils from your feet. And if you have an animal, it's forget it. Uh, so what you'll do is, I'll give you, I think I do have a recipe. Hang on. No, I forgot to put it down. Okay, I'm going to have to, wait, if you hang on, I might find it in here. I know it's baking soda, if I can find it in here. Melaleuca. And there's something else. Oh, my God. Okay, I don't want to hold you guys up, but I will find it and post it after. And uh, it's going to bother me, I'm sorry. Let's see. Oh, here we go. I did find it. Two cups of baking soda. Sorry. And 10 drops of any of these essential oils. Lemon, cypress, eucalyptus, lavender, or melaleuca. Okay, and what you do is you're going to sprinkle it all over the carpet. Let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and then vacuum it up. That's all you have to do, and that'll get you through uh, for a while until you have your carpet steam cleaned. And even then, I'm thinking now, I don't know what kind of chemicals they're using when they steam clean your carpet, so that I have to ask about. So uh, this is a great thing to have on hand. And I also love to have everything in the clear containers so that when you're storing them in your cabinets or wherever they are, you can kind of see everything the way you want it, you know? Um, the other thing I want to mention, so if you're looking to switch over and now you're at, I'm almost finished, so I'm going to, you know, kind of close it up in a second, but uh, start with your house if you're not sure where to start with trans transitioning to more natural lifestyle, and then from there, you'll be able to kind of pick up more healthful habits as you go along. You'll do your food, your personal care products, uh, your skincare, all these things are, you know, you're flooding your body and your, your home, your children with these toxic things that are not good for us, and... 
uh, by becoming educated, you can kind of hopefully avoid some problems later on or prevent your children from having them. And so with essential oils, I want to mention at the end, if you are interested in getting any or you want to find out more about them, you can message me uh, on here. You can message me on my website, which is purefitwomen.fit. And uh, I, can, I can share with you how you can get a discount. We have a 25% discount um, as a customer of doTERRA. And you will want to always make sure to get your oils direct from the company. So through a distributor like myself or through uh, the company itself. But you don't want to buy it on Amazon or any of those third-party sellers because it's not coming direct from the company. And you can't guarantee that they haven't been tampered with. So I, you know, I wouldn't feel safe doing that and I wouldn't recommend it. And if you're buying oils... Um, in Whole Foods and in Wegmans and those places, those are not real oils. I didn't know myself when I started, but the way they source the oils, the way they, you know, there's no uh, regulation on the industry. They can pretty much put whatever they want on there. And for me, what I did, how I knew at first was I was looking for an oil to take internally and the oil I, I was looking for, I knew that it was safe to take internally. And when I looked at the bottle, it said that you couldn't. So... I was wondering why would that be if I can't, why can't I take a lemon essential oil internally? And that's a big red flag when you can't use it that way. Um, they can put whatever they want on the label. They could say organic, they could say pure, they could say natural. Um, doesn't mean a thing. So you got to know what, you, what you're doing with this, especially if you're using them on your body, in your body, on your children. And again, inhaling them um, is just as bad. Just like if you think about people and it sounds morbid, but people down at the, um, you know, when 9-11 happened, just inhaling those uh, toxic chemicals, people are getting very sick. So over time, we have the same thing. We're bombarding ourselves every day with, you know, inhaling chemicals, candles, air, uh, fragrance. Uh, anything with fragrance, by the way, is toxic. If it says fragrance on it, uh, thousands of chemicals can be listed under that, and they don't have to tell you what it is. Um, so if you want to learn how to get a 25% discount on your oils, just let me know. And if you know anyone that could benefit from this, feel free to share the video. I would appreciate it. And um, also, if you are a doTERRA person and you decide that you want to get the oils, I don't know what just happened to my light. We have, um, I printed this off. On the website, they have all free eBooks. So you don't have to remember all of these things. You can go right to their website and look up the green cleaning or cleaning with essential oils. They have a ton of eBooks. And you can print them out and you have a ton of recipes. And one last thing I want to mention, I would not recommend going to Pinterest to get too many recipes for, um, you know, especially for things for personal care. You don't really know where those recipes are coming from. And there are people on there that don't know what they're doing. And there are people that do, but you don't really know what, you don't know who they are. So go direct again to the company. doTERRA is a 10 year old company. They have over 5 million customers in, in over 130 countries uh, worldwide. They source their oils from where they're naturally grown. So you can't, you just can't um, replicate that. Almost nobody can. And they have certified pure therapeutic grade oils. That's the highest level you can get. There's nothing better. Um, so yeah, just go direct to the company for the recipes. Go to a, a distributor of the company, somebody that's representing doTERRA. And so I appreciate your time. Uh, if you guys have any questions, again, feel free to post it. I'll see it after I can answer anything you like. And I hope you get started with these. Just set some aside a little time in your calendar. And this is something I've been meaning to do for a while. So just set a date and, you know, Saturday or Sunday when you're not rushed and Get all the products in the house that you need. And then once everything's in the house, it's so easy to do. It's just getting it done. So make it something that you, you know, want to do this month. And then next month, you tackle the next thing. You, you could start with your personal care products. But start with the home. Everybody's going to benefit. Your allergies will go down. Um, migraines will go away. Skin issues. Um, all sorts of things. I did forget one thing. I have to actually... I have to t tell you about this. doTERRA, again, they carry all essential oil infused products and they make a natural laundry detergent. I used to make my own, that's how crazy I was, but it's, it was a little too much for me to bother to do that. I do a lot of laundry. So this is super concentrated and uh, you'll get 64 loads in a high efficiency washer, which is amazing. Um, I do laundry every single day. You only need half a capsule uh, for this. So it's, see how small this is, just half a capsule and that uh, smells great. And I'll usually add a little Melaleuca to it just to give it another boost so there's no germs in there. It's nice and compact. 
64 loads in here, uh, you're not going to get a better price um, in Whole Foods or anything like that. But if you're using regular laundry detergent, just know that your pores are opening up. Your children's skin pores, when they're sweating, are opening up. And all those horrible chemicals are going into your body. And if you have trouble with eczema or anything like that, this is the first thing you should actually look at. Um, you know, sometimes they say it comes from internal reasons, but sometimes it's from an unknown allergen that's causing a problem. So go with, go with a natural laundry detergent. Uh, I trust this brand completely and I love it. Uh, you know, I haven't had a problem with the clothes at all. They come out beautiful. So I hope that was helpful. I'm going to let you guys go and thank you again for watching. And, uh, oh, we have something I have, I would, I'm seeing a message. I would laundry detergent for my girls. Oh, would like laundry detergent. <laughs> okay. I, yeah, I would recommend this. It's a great thing. I'll message you after how you can get, get the laundry detergent. I usually go through one every, well, I do a lot of laundry. So let me think. I do at least a load a day. So it's 30 days. So probably for me, probably a month and a half it lasts me. So it's a great thing. But for your girls, if you have kids in college, just because they're in college, you don't want them to go and, uh, you know, not have these healthy things around them. So I hope to be able to help my kids with that when they go. But um, yeah, that would be a great thing. That's one of the first things, laundry and cleaning products and then, and then go from there. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Have a great night. Feel free to message me. Please share the video. I, I would appreciate any likes on my page and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks again. Have a good night. Bye.